Hello YouTube, my name is Bill Allenbaugh. I'm making a video testimony of my 2009 dream uh, of New York City being judged and uh, which is soon to come. Um, the return of the Lord is imminent and uh, this, this message is uh, being posted on YouTube uh, for the purpose of saving souls. Uh, I want uh, as many people to be saved through this message. Um, and for our church, uh, the Church of Christ, to be ready um, for the end times. Uh, I believe that uh, the Lord has given me the task of a watchman. I'm a, I believe that uh, my duty is to sound the alarm, uh, warning my uh, brothers and sisters in Christ uh, for the time is near and uh, I had made video testimonies of this same dream in the past but uh, I had taken them down because my faith had wavered uh, and I had stumbled because of my family uh, I have a um, believing family my mom and dad uh, are my are my uh, legal family but uh, I have a niece uh, that believes in the Lord, my mom and dad believe, but I have a transgender uh, niece who has just literally destroyed my family. Uh, they have, she's torn us apart, um, and uh, it has caused me to uh, be distant from my family. I can't even be with my family uh, with, you know, during the holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Uh, you name it, uh, mother, mother and Father's Day, uh, I can't even be near them uh, because I can't even make a conversation talking about them. Uh, they support homosexuality and transgenderism. Any, anyone with the Holy Spirit uh, who's a Christian walking with Christ can't, you know, can't uh, give approval for that stuff. You'll burn in the lake of fire. Uh, giving approval for that in your heart um, that political correctness is from hell itself but anyways uh, before I lose sunlight here I want to get into um, my my dream um, now I remember this dream like it was uh, yesterday um, and uh, God has some way of burning stuff like this into your brain I uh, it's it's pretty amazing um, and I've had other dreams just like this one uh, later on but uh, this was before I was saved before I received the Holy Spirit I received this the spirit in 2015 but those who are marked with God's um, mark uh, are predestined so God had already known and had a plan for me even before I was saved um, and uh, but anyways um, I didn't know anything about the Bible or sin or anything like that I had never read revelations um, but I had a dream and I was standing in a, in a long street uh, the street from my point of view to the white building that I'd seen was probably about 1500 feet uh, of distance now there was a, a Black, a red, black, red brick building with black windows to my right and I looked to my right and then to my left and there was a blue glass building to my left it was fairly tall um, and uh, immediately my attention drew to this building in the long street uh, it was a tall white brick building with uh, black windows and uh, all of a sudden without my control I uh, lifted off the ground um, uh, I believe I was being moved by an angel or the Lord, uh, whatever you want to uh, imagine. But I was uh, being uh, shown uh, this building. I lifted off the ground about maybe 100 feet and I shot with it towards this building. Um, and I came within maybe 100 feet of the building. And uh, I got a good you know look over the, the base the, the it was more wide at the base uh, it came up and then did one of those things and uh, I noticed the black windows are slightly tall and uh, anyways uh, after observing this for maybe about th 
three to four, maybe even five seconds. Um, it's hard to gauge how time in this kind of this state. Uh, but anyways, uh, I shot towards the top. Uh, and the building came to a steeple point. It uh, had a long needle and um, it had uh, gray silvery uh, girders, uh, the, the stuff that keeps the rain from you know uh, leaking down in the building. And uh, I, I observed it very closely. Um, I didn't know at the time I was being shown this for a reason. I had no idea why I was seeing this. Um, and uh, but I was just observing everything very intently and um, it was all in color uh, but anyways um, after seeing the top of the building uh, I came within the very top of the building maybe within like 20 to 30 feet the the needle was like about 30 feet above me but uh, I could see past the building and I could see the the whole city um, I didn't know what city it was, it was whenever I was observing this. Uh, I had never seen this building before. Nothing looked familiar, um, especially from the air. But anyways, um, I seen a large explosion go off in the distance. And uh, I wasn't, you know, my eyes weren't blinded from the flash. Uh, I believe I was in the spirit. Um, but anyways, I, I was observing this. Uh, a huge explosion this radius uh, happened just uh, maybe about a mile in the distance um, it was slightly like if the building is uh, um, uh, parallel this way and and the, the back and the front building is like this it uh, the explosion happened a little bit to the right uh, and I don't know if this is north south east or west um, but it was where there were some, some uh, shorter buildings, uh, three, five, six story tall buildings. Um, but, uh, and I want to make a, a note here before I forget, uh, the time uh, of this explosion uh, was like in a little bit of after, afternoon. I don't know what position the sun was in. I didn't see the sun. I knew it was day. Uh, it appeared to be uh, summer or fall. Uh, I didn't observe any snow, but um, there was no rain. There was no uh, snow at the time I, this happened. And uh, but anyways, um, I'm not saying that that could possibly be the exact time when this happens. It could be, you know, in the middle of winter or at night. We just don't know. But uh, what I observed, I believe it's going to happen for real. Uh, exactly the way I saw it and um, but anyways I was seeing the explosion in slow motion and uh, as it was coming at me it was like in one tenth uh, speed or maybe even slower it was hard to gauge the the scale of the speed because of the scale of the explosion um, it was huge uh, I do think that the explosion will have a 30 to 50 mile uh, detonation radius um, uh, comparable to the SARS bomb that Russia has uh, or a large neutron bomb. Um, I believe the bomb would probably be from uh, Russia or China. But anyways, um, uh, the, the explosion was coming at me and I began to travel with the, the, the wave and um, I kept a uh, half mile distance from the front forefront of this uh, explosion and um, everything is slow-mo and I begin to hear these words these numbers uh, pierce my innermost soul like my conscience uh, like in my mind it was um, a voice that had authority but it was soft and tender to hear and it was a male voice um, it was comforting to hear uh, and I actually actually enjoyed hearing the voice um, but uh, it it, uh, it was almost like telepathy it was like uh, the voice came right into your mind your innermost thought where your sanctuary is uh, where your conscience is in your mind and uh, it would it would say 9/11, and then it would pause for a second, and it said 70,000 after that. And um, 
I believe it repeated six or seven times. I don't remember. I forgot to count. And uh, but I got to the point where it started off soft, and then it got louder and louder. And uh, it was like a voice that was speaking right behind my head, like above and behind me. Uh, it was coming. It was like even though I could hear it in my mind, I could tell that it had a source. And uh, it was like a voice that was speaking from directly behind my head. Um, that's the only way I can describe it. It was uh, so, uh, so strange. But um, I got to the point where I kind of snapped at the voice. And I'm like, okay, I get it. And uh, as soon as I said that, immediately my dream ended. Uh, I woke up. Uh, I'm like, whoa, uh, okay, so what was that? I... I, th this, there has to be a reason I had that dream. I could, you know, remember every detail in such precision. And uh, even to this day, 11 years later, I can still remember it. Like it just happened last night. Um, and, uh, and I can recall it every time in, in the same detail to anyone who asks me about it. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, I got on the, on the internet. I'm looking. I'm getting on there, and I, I think the first thing I type up was um, uh, the numbers. So I, I'm like, man, there's something with those numbers. Didn't just get that for you know no no reason. I mean, where would I even come up with those numbers? Um, and uh, now I I'm a big uh, believer in that. Um, uh, you know, I I know that uh, our government participated in that uh, the terrorist attack. I know that they. Uh, maliciously uh, planned ahead of time knowing that the attack was going to happen they uh, coordinated efforts and they used uh, thermite in the building I know all about that stuff um, but uh, that has nothing to do with my testimony um, I I found out that on Google uh, when I typed in 9-11 and then 70,000 there was around 70,000 victims from the 9-11 attacks and um, give or take a hundred and these are people that were involved or coming out of other buildings neighboring buildings and getting choked with uh, that concrete uh, or people responding EMS or even doctors local hospitals um, you know suffering PTSD from all the victims um, but anyways um, uh, then I typed up and I looked for the white brick building with the black windows and I had never seen this building before. I was in New York City uh, twice in my life, but once before I had this dream. And um, I was a little kid, I think I was like seven or eight, and I had never seen it in my life. Um, the only memory I have is uh, the tra being in the very top of the Twin Towers and the Statue of Liberty. But uh, anyways... Um, Okay, I forgot to mention at this part that uh, the name of the building was the Chrysler Building in downtown New York City. I found the building. It took uh, it took a while to find it. I scurred th scrolled through a lot of images and uh, a lot of random crap just popped up. But I found the building. When I seen the building, I was just blown away. I it sh it shook me to the core, and I had never read the Revelations before, and I didn't know anything about. You know, in the last days, old men will dream dreams and your children will prophesy. And I didn't know anything about uh, that uh, revelation, that, that uh, scripture. And, and years later, after I was saved in 2015 and I read that scripture, I was even more blown away because it had such an even more profound effect on me. Uh, I, you know, I was convicted to make a testimony I think uh, the first video I made was in 2016 or 17 and I had deleted it. Uh, someone copied it put it on their channel and I don't really care the more people to see it the better but it'll be identical to this video uh, but this one this one I'm including a little more detail uh, because I hurried up through that other video um, and uh, because I had an older phone then but anyways um, newer technology uh you know i can include more stuff uh, anyways um uh yeah i the, the dream i can still remember it to this day uh with great detail and um 
I'm just hoping that uh, uh, that the the message that I'm trying to get out uh, will save people uh, and prepare people that are you know either in New York or in other cities that are marked for destruction to get ready. Um, there, New York City, uh, I'm telling you, uh, that that whenever they gave uh, approval for um, children being aborted. That just uh, shocked me. I was just completely blown away. Um, it's just abom abominable. Uh, I know that angers God fiercely. Uh, and, and the hammer is going to come down on, on New York City very uh, severely. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of people in New York going to hell. Um, now, I, I, uh, I, I can't wait till that day comes where... New York City is destroyed uh, because I have a righteous anger for those who shed the blood of innocence. Um, uh, people, women who uh, are, you know, getting abortions, uh, taking, uh, you know, pills to keep them from getting pregnant. Uh, all those uh, women uh, are going to burn in the lake of fire. You need to repent of your sin. Um, there are so many different kinds of sins out there that people are unaware that are actually sins that are going to land them in hell. There are so many people blind. Uh, I mean, people are walking around ignorant. Uh, and I think the most uh, ignorant people are even people that believe in Christ. Um, we need to wake up and get ready. If you're smoking cigarettes, stop smoking. I mean, you can't get into heaven if you have... Uh, addictions if you're addicted to something that is your idol that's called idolatry if you're into pornography or um, anything that you're addicted to that you crave that you have to have this life is temporary you have to forsake everything and follow Christ you have to abandon everything not and it doesn't mean give up everything you possess but think of everything in this world uh, as not your own. You don't own anything in this world. God created it. You're just borrowing it. This is your hotel. You're just renting this place. We're not. We're just passing through this place temporarily. We're, we're not going to be staying here very long. Uh, so what you do while you're in your hotel, you're going to be judged for. Just think of this as your house and you're just renting it. Uh, nothing here we truly own. God owns everything. You have that. That's what that scripture means. You have to uh, forsake all and follow Christ. Um, and uh, and that's and that's what you need to do. Um, we're we're in such deception. People, uh, God's people, uh, perish for a lack of knowledge. Um, everyone, you just need to wake up. I'm just hoping that people listen to this video. Uh, and watch it all the way to the end to hear me babble <laughs> but uh, that's my uh, my my take on it um, I hope you've listened to me to this point uh, the Sun's kind of gone down and ruined a little a bit of my light uh, I waited a little long time but um, uh, let me say a little prayer for everyone that's watching this video um, Father, I pray in your son's name, Jesus, that all who watch this video and have listened to all, all, this, uh, all these words up to this point um, believe and confess their sins to you, repent of their sins, trust in you alone, receive your righteousness, your holiness, and your gift of the Holy Spirit, and may they live with you and be in you and see you someday. And glory in your glory I pray that uh, this message reaches all these people out there on the internet and it has some effect to save souls and turn them back to the Lord in Jesus name Amen God bless you all hope to see you in the next video peace